So here we are again, 2019 Rue Scholarship Final. What are we cooking, Anna? This year we're going to be cooking a monkfish blanket with langoustine tails and a saffron basmati rice. Right, let's get cooking, chef. Oh yes. We have a monkfish, langoustines for the sauce, fish stock, parsley, leek, eggs, white wine, white wine vinegar, flour, oil, shallots, and then over here for the garnish, Champagne the for the sauce, asparagus, mushrooms, uh, some lovely samphire as well, uh, fennel, carrots, spring onions, some seasoning, and then of course basmati rice and homegrown saffron. So one of the first jobs is to get the uh, vegetable garnish ready. So this is the kind of job that you would get your commie to help you with. A blanquette is normally with veal, but made with fish is, is unusual. It is, but you can still have it uh, slightly rustic. It needs to be delicate at the same time because fish should be a light dish. That's it, veg prep done. Now is the monkfish. Monkfish, here we come. I can't understand how some people think this is ugly. I think it is beautiful. Me too. Look at that. Clean teeth as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not many chefs will have had uh, the opportunity to fill it a whole monkfish like this because no. normally they're sold without the head. So we're giving them as well the liver. And a, a little addition of two cheeks. Not forgetting that there are two here as well. What we don't want to see is the head taken off and chucked in the bin without taking the two cheeks out and maybe using the bones, the head, to refresh the stock or make something of it. And that's where the cheek is. It's my favorite piece, this, the, the cheek. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I think it would be criminal if the chefs didn't take the cheeks out. It would. That would be a, a disaster. So where's the inspiration for this dish come from? Well, the chef, Jules Gouffet, was a, a pupil of Antonin Carême. And I think that's from what I was told. He's the one who obviously created that dish as a fish blanket. It is so important not to waste anything. And now, it's all about removing the skin and getting down to the white flesh of the monkfish tail. Yes. What's very important is to remove that silver skin, that membrane, which is everywhere around the fish. Do you think it'll be all right if some of the finalists, say, cut it into tranche or, or like ossobuco and keep some of the bone on? Nothing wrong with that. It wouldn't be a mistake, I think, if uh, somebody decides to leave the bone on the fish, on the fillet. So the last little bit of the brown meat on top there gone and all the sinew is gone and you're just left with beautiful white monkfish tail. Now the liver. So the liver is, you know, something again quite tricky because you could do so many things with it, mm. especially in this dish. I'm happy to go with simplicity. So it's going to be slices and pan fried, just served on a little piece of bread. Smashing, so there's our liver. Monkfish loins here, or fillets. The cheeks all ready. I think I've done a great job there, haven't I? Oh yes, you've been touching my cheek again. <laughs> Next job. <laughs> right, onto the fish stock now. Yes, I mean, we are supplying fish stock, which is from True Foods, excellent fish stock. But as we were discussing, they should really refresh that stock with the use of those bones. And we've got trimmings of vegetables, mm. so a little bit of butter in the pan, spring onions here, the leeks, the carrots as well, everything in there. And a slice of lemon. And a slice of lemon. Just some very, very classic, basic flavours in here. So once that is sweated down, no colour. No colour. In go the bones. Bones. We've got some white wine, so we might as well use it. Yep. Not the champagne. White wine will be good enough. This is classic technique, isn't it? Yes. And we're going to reduce that lovely stock. Concentrate the flavors. Exactly, for getting a beautiful sauce. Mm. Langoustine next. Yes. And we're just going to blanch them to pre-cook them. We're going to use some for the garnish. We're going to use some of the heads to make another sauce and some of the lovely langoustine tails as well as part of the blanquette. Here we go, doing a little bit of uh, decoration. Gymnastic. So, gymnastics, yes, a bit of yoga. I didn't know you did yoga, uh, Anna. No, not me, but my langoustines, yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. 
So we said we were using the heads. So yes. Basically, we want to extract the flavors. <laughs> In the pan, trimmings of butter mushrooms. Mm. And I just uh, passed the fish stock. This is not part of a classic blanquette recipe. This is something that we've just thought would be a great addition. A few drops, really, just to drizzle or coat part of the monkfish mm. will, I think, give another dimension. So this is one of the imposed garnishes, the subrique of asparagus. Subrique, little timbal, in the likes of a delicate mousse. So we've got the tips and the strips here for decoration, all the trimmings that have just been blanched, actually fully cooked in water and refreshed to make the subrique. And we're going to uh, add a double cream and some uh, eggs. It is, I think, simple and at the same time you need mm. to have in enough eggs, enough cream, but if you put too much, it can be a disaster. Now just pass it through a fine chinois. It should be soft, but holding together. Oh yes. So the last thing you want is when you're tipping it out with shaky hands and boom, and it collapses. That's not good. No. We cover them with foil and then baked in the oven until they're just set. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty of this. And we're just going to sear the fish first. Yep, in we go. And just in oil. Yes, we can put a little bit of butter. Why not? I think my uncle and my father would like a bit of butter. You're right. <laughs> That's enough. So in the same pan, we're adding those leftovers of trimmings again. Mm. Classic blanquette, whether it's fish or meat, would have a little bit of flour just to thicken it. Yes. And then we've got the champagne, most important part. A bit more, just for the road. That's it. And then we add our reduced fish stock to it. Yes. So that's just simmering away very, very gently. So we're going to drop the fish in there to poach very gently. This is cooking skills. It is. Chef skills. Because it's a short cooking period and it can all go wrong now. And take it out of the pot and then finish the sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Next important step is to cook the basmati rice. We soaked it in cold water. Mm. About half an hour. That's to gain time. Time is crucial. A little bit of garlic. In it goes. Saffron. Now we add the stock. So the monkfish cheeks, we're going to cook them differently. We're going to show off another cooking method. Yes, going to be panni. In breadcrumbs. Indeed. Yeah. So salt, a little bit of paprika, flour, the egg, the breadcrumb, and from it. Next step. We're going to do the liaison. Classic liaison, egg yolk and a bit of cream. And that's going to thicken, enrich and flavor the sauce. A blanquette should be. It's a creamy sauce. Creamy. Yeah. So the fish is just going to sit in there warm and that should give us time to finish the liver. We have just cut it into little scallops, pan fried in a bit of clarified butter on toast. Yep, simple. Now we need to bring everything together. That's it, everything is here. Yes. There's a lot of it. Okay, Alain, let's get going. So the subrique. The lovely vegetables, just glacé, simple cooked in an emulsion of butter and water. A couple of langoustine, we've just steamed them to reheat them. The langoustine glaze. A 
Gosh, you deserve that. Well, you too. I think <laughs> we, we both deserve it. So, Blanquette de Lot, Langoustine, Basmati rice, and Subric of asparagus. Beautiful dish. It's glorious. True classic cuisine. Cheers, chef. Santé.